Oh, right, I'm sorry about that. I've been waiting for ages for this video to start and it wouldn't start. Now, just to, I might as well show you this. This is a heads up. This is a new Blu ray that's in my eBay shops. This is just one title. I've got multiple copies of it. And this has come from direct from the factory. And this is a Blu ray of Devil's Double. It's about Iraq War and Saddam Hussein's brother. It's by Icon. It's got the original black Blu ray case and the, the beautiful rectangular or whatever you whatever they call it sleeve. The beautiful sleeve. And this is brand new in my eBay shop today. And as you can see, there's quite a few copies. Now just one tile. I can't show the rest, but there's tons here. There's the Vice of Bruce Willis, Hunger Games. There's um, countless copies of that in 3D. Got a box of these. So if you want, check out my eBay shop. It will be in the description below. I've got thousands of Blu-rays, and they're very, very cheaply priced. Because I don't. That's it. Right now, I'll start on what this video is. This is an unboxing video of Charles Bronson's *The Stone Killer*. Here it is in its Amazon glory. We do not need Mr. Knife for this unboxing. So we'll just rip it open. Phew, it is still killer. I thought for a minute it wasn't, but it is. Now, this is available on Twilight Time. But I'm not getting it on Twilight Time because I want to... I want to show my... I want to show my thing to the British distributor for Stone Killer, which is Indicator. It's a new company that is releasing great films. They're releasing a lot of Twilight films. Again, I'll show you the front cover. This is the English version, UK version, of The Stone Killer. I love that it's got the original packaging on this. See it there? Indicator. Not Twilight Time. Indicator. The Stone Killer. 15 certificate. Let's take a look at the back and show you the back. I'm not sure how much you can actually see of this before the camera goes in. Limited edition special features. Look at all the special features there. Zoom. Now, Twilight Time has not got any special features apart from maybe a commentary or a standalone score. But the UK version has got all those special features. So let's have a read of what the special features are. High definition remaster, original mono audio, audio commentary by journalist and critic Nick Pinkleton, Mr. Blonde, Paul Coluso on The Stone Killer, 2017, 17 minutes long. The colourful character actor discusses his work on the film and his relationship with Charles Bronson. Right. Then there's a John Player lecture with Michael Winner, 1970, 64 minutes. Archival audio recording of an on stage interview conducted by Margaret Hicksman. At the National Film Theatre of London. Isolated score experienced by Roy Bird, original soundtrack music, yep, original theatrical trailer. Can't call that a special feature because it's on every DVD and Blu ray going. Image gallery on set production photography material from personal collections of Michael Winner. New and improved English subtitles for the death. Limited edition 
40 page booklet with a new essay on the making of the film by Paul Talbot, author of Bronson Loose, The Making of Death Wish Films, and Bronson's Loose Again, on set with Charles Bronson. Basically, Paul Talbot is Bronson God. An overview of contemporary critical response and historical article on the film. UK Blu ray premiere. Limited dual format of 3,000 copies. Powerhouse Films, 1973, 95 minutes, 185 widescreen, 15 cert, strong land violence. It's an ABC release, so it's region free. Now, with these special features, I reckon this is a better buy than the Twilight Time. Twilight Time would have cost $29.99, oh, sorry, $29.95 plus $10 shipping from, from Twilight Time. So that's $39.95, okay, for just the film and an isolated score. This has got special features, booklet. I paid £14.99 for this. So let's go into the opening of it. Mr. Knife comes out, slices along that. Let's rip this open. Obviously, I can't play the film because YouTube will remove the video for copyright. So you, I can't show you any of what the UK version is different than the American version. Because if I do, it will get put taken down for copyright. But what I can show you is the opening of this now. And there it is. Let's, let's put the discs so you can see them. There's the disc one, which is the DVD, which is all region. And there is the Blu-ray disc, which is all region. Take both discs away. Let's see what we've got underneath. Take all discs away. Right. Take the booklet away, which I'll show you in a minute. And we've got a different packaging now. We've got the reverse sleeve, which that is the original packaging. That cover, the stone killer. There's that. Now I will show you. Just quickly change it over. Quickly change it over. I quite like this one. Change it over. Line. There we are. This is the newly commissioned artwork. Basically, they've changed it from white to red. Not much of a fucking difference, really. The stone killer is exactly the same. Just that that's the original white background, and there's the red background. No difference really. Bit of a disappointment. But the only thing is, the red version hasn't got the stupid bloody certification, bloody logos everywhere. But I'll be swapping that back to its original. Now this is number 33 in the catalogue of Indicator. They've done films like Vampires, oh, the Stone, uh, John Carpenter's Vampires. Now let's put the discs back in. I just love the artwork on the discs, They're beautiful. Let's look, at, let's, look, let's look at the booklet. This is not in Twilight Times, so this is an extra. There's Michael Winner. There's old Bronson there. Bronson again. The booklet is 40 pages long, but it's full colour. There's Winner and Bronson again. 
on that wish. Let's turn a few pages. I'm obviously I'm not going to read it all because it's a spoiled spot. The third Bronson picture. The making of a stone killer. Now the stone killer that has got racial racial overtones. Bronson's partner in the film doesn't like blacks. Him there. See him on the left or right or whatever you want. There's Bronson without the hat. Now with the guy with the hat, he does kick a few people's asses. And Bronson actually gets fed up of it and inter intervenes. But I'm not going to read it all. Just to make you buy it. Make you buy it. Just to get to a page where there's actually a picture. It's because it's like an in interview. There it is. I'll close this video on this picture. The Stone Killer Critical Review. I'm not going to tell you the review because you can read it yourself. If you buy the Integator version. Not the Twilight Time. Remember guys. Twilight Time. I've got com competition now. By indicator and that is the British version of the stone killer not Twilight Time and yes I do cop do collect Twilight Time for the other Bronsons like Vlachi Papers but if Integator get any of the rights in this country to Bronson films I'll be swapping to Instigator Powerhouse Films I hope you Continue and prosper with Bronson. Now, if you want to continue to prosper, I predict that you need to release a lot of the obscure Bronsons, like Rider on the Rain. Now, if you were to release the evil that men do on Blu ray, like this. You would be gods, you'd be worshipped because the evil of men do needs a Blu ray instigator. Get the rights off fucking stupid ITV studios and get the Blu ray released. Not that network crap. That's the end of this video rant. Thank you for watching and look out for another video with a full unboxing of other DVDs. Blu-rays, and I'll, my next video up will be a uh, how to repair a VHS tape if it comes out and plays okay. Anyway, good night, have a great time, and peace. And fuck all these fucking terrorists, Stone Killer. We love you, oh Bronzy baby.